Now more on a heartbreaking story of a hundred year old island man who's fighting to get his money back. He placed a deposit of thousands of dollars towards a spot in a care facility for himself and his wife. However, she died shortly before they could move in and the facility won't provide a refund. But as time passes and more people get involved, the fight is becoming less and less about the money. Kylie Stanton brings us the latest. Do you know what Sunday is? Relaxing in his chair while finalizing the details of long weekend dinner plans. What are we doing? Is it Thanksgiving? Really? Ricky Spooner is taking things day by day. We're still waiting, very much waiting. For nearly two months now, the 100-year-old retired naval officer has been battling for an $8,000 deposit he made here to Joan Crescent Manor. But thank you all very much indeed. The money was meant to secure a spot for Ricky and his wife Joni, shown here in their 70th anniversary video. But when she passed unexpectedly, plans changed and the funds were not returned. Now Ricky's left with only questions. Why is she holding on? What, what is the reason? Finding answers has been a challenge. The facility has repeatedly refused to comment on the matter, prompting the provincial government to take action, instructing VHA to launch an investigation. I'm awaiting the, uh, uh, the results of that. There are strict rules in place about uh, how deposits uh, must be uh, treated and uh, we want to make sure those rules and a little humanity is being shown here. It's outrageous, it's unconscionable and um, there's certainly something that should be done. Now others are stepping up to help. Over the weekend, Ricky received an anonymous donation of $6,000, money he's already passed on to the Canadian National Institute for the Blind. In fact, I've told CNIB to expect it. It's clear the issue has become less about the money and more about the principal. Uh, the seniors are the ones who are the most vulnerable. Uh, it's not only on my account that I want to speak. As an example to others, and I hope it doesn't occur to other people.